In this video, we'll be going over how to do a simple slip knot as well as a simple foundation base chain stitch, which is basically what you need in order to start most patterns. So we're going to start by making a chain stitch. I'm holding my yarn so that my tail is over here. This is my tail. And I'm going to pick it up here. I'm going to take my tail end, I'm going to wrap it over my working yarn, which is this. I'm going to go back in, now that I've got this nice little hole in here, I'm going to go and grab my tail and pull it up so you see this knot is forming, and I pull it tight. So now, I'm going to take my crochet hook. Today we're using a size J. I'm using a Susan Bates crochet hook because these are my preferred. I'm going to take I'm going to take my crochet hook and put it inside my loop and use my hand to tighten it. In the previous video we went over positioning, so I'm just going back to that. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wrap your yarn and pull it through your slip knot. That is your first chain. And in order to continue chaining, you just keep wrapping and pulling through. And depending on what your pattern is, it will change how many times you chain, what you do, etc. I'm just taking, wrapping, pulling through, taking, wrapping, pulling through. Alright, so now we've got this lovely little chain stitch. A lot of people will change how they wrap. I personally wrap over like this, but I've seen a lot of people who go like this instead. And they wrap through, they wrap over. That's another way of chaining if that is your preferred method. I personally don't chain like that, but I can see the appeal and how the chains look. It depends on what you visually want. My friend actually chains that way. I don't see chains, so I just do the quick nitty gritty right there. I'll just chain like that, but a lot of people will prefer to chain like that. I don't see the difference really, so I just crochet the quickest way that I know how. Plus, you're going to be putting stitches in here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, if you like this video, be sure to stay tuned for our next video, which will be how to do a simple single crochet and like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, guys.